Hi, I'm Mark Kenny with Garage Gurus. In today's tech tip, I want to go over with you guys how to save a data recording with your Snap-on scanner. Guys, we hear a lot of talk nowadays about distracted driving. We know that one of the advantages of using our scanner on a test drive is we can gather information to record data. That data can then be used to diagnose the vehicle. We might want to take the vehicle out and drive it in a certain speed or RPM range that the customer is complaining about having a problem. What we don't want to be doing is looking at our, our scanner screen while we're driving the customer vehicle. That can be distracted driving and that can be very dangerous. So guys, let me show you a few things you can do with your Snap-on scanner to save those recordings and where you're going to be able to find those recordings to, to actually look at and review when you want to do your diagnostics. We have this vehicle behind me running. As you can see right here, our RPM changes and a lot of our data changes are going on. But what I want to draw your attention to is this little counter right down here at the bottom. Notice it's counting up. It's counting up because the scanner is recording information. Anytime you are looking at this data screen, you are recording information. One of the nice features of it is you don't have to turn it on, you don't have to remember, it's automatically running for you. Next button I'd like to draw your attention to is right up here where it says save. Now, if I want to save this data recording, all I need to do is click the save button right here. It opens up another page on the scanner that will tell us not only the location, in this case it's in our data manager, but it'll also give you a timestamp and the vehicle information. All right. You can see right here we've saved this file. It's available on our data manager located in our scanner data folder. It's a 2010 Chevy Traverse and it gives today's date and timestamp. All I'm going to do is click OK and at that point I have saved that file. So let me show you real quick where to find that. We're going to go down here to our home button. It takes us back to our Snap-on desktop. Click Data Manager. Go into Scanner Data Folder. And you see that our Chevy Traverse folder or file is now available in this folder. Also notice that we've created multiple captures or multiple files saved on this vehicle. If you want to rename some of these, you do have that feature available. You just need to go up here, click on rename, which now gives me that file extension and I can put on there uh, file number one, file number two. There again, if I have multiple files on the same vehicle, it gives me the opportunity to uh, save that where it's easier to discern what it is when we get back to it. All right. I'm Mark Kenyon with Garage Gurus. Thanks for watching. For more helpful tech tips like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel.